Hello YouTube, this is a video tutorial on how to make a Minecraft 1.2.5 server. Okay, first step, you make any uh, folder just by going, right clicking and going under new, if you can see right here. And then you just go under folder. So, um, I know you couldn't see the folder part, but all you have to do is just put a folder in there and then you get the normal folder. So, first step, just get a folder. Okay, the second step is go under your command prompt and you just have to go under the run bar or search bar and type in CMD. Brings up a command prompt. Okay, when you get to the command prompt, just type in IP config. Then it should bring up all these numbers. And I will show you which number right here is the one that you're going to want. The 192.168.1.1, which is default gateway. Then you go under the search bar under the internet, on the internet, and you type in the default gateway, which is, for me, 192.168.1.1. And then you should get this window right here. It should say, like, username and password. Unless you changed it, it should be default and the default is admin as the username and password as the password. And there you go. After you get here, then you should see a window right here. And it should say port forwarding, port triggering. Click that. After you click that, you should be able to see all your Minecraft servers. And in this case, since you're trying to make one, you add a custom service. You could name it whatever. I'm going to name this tutorial. T U T O R I A L. Whoops. Okay, now the starting port always has to be 25565 and the ending port has to be 25565. And you know this number I will show you how you know the last number right here. Okay, to get this number, you have to go under your start menu, you type in CMD again. Then you get a screen that looks exactly like this. Then you type in IP config again. This time, you scroll up and you have to look at this number right here the IP4 address and it should be what my end number is 10 so at the end you have to put 10 because the number was 10 I have to put 10 right here because I already have this exact port um I will just show you where it was I can't name it that because I already have a port just like that I already have my Minecraft one which is right here and I have 10 right at the end and you have to always check if your server never works or if your server doesn't work right then then you have to of course uh, change the end number which is right here and to go look at that you just have to go back and follow those steps again and look at the IP4 address after that you go on google.com and type in but Get dot org. Then you should get to bucket forms. Once you're here, you go and click get craft bucket. Then you should see a bunch of code. If you're running Windows, it is right under here. All of this code. You copy all of this code and you will use it later. Then you go under the server, the folder that you made and you have to right click, go under new, and make a new text document. After this, name it what you want. I'm going to name this start. And then you right click it, you edit, and under here, you just paste everything that you just copied. Then you click file, save as, Make sure you put save as, and you could name it start, and you have to do dot 
bat, B-A-T. And under the save as type, you have to do all files and then save. And then you should get that. And you can delete the text document and then you have this, which brings up a command prompt. After that, you have to follow this step. You go back on the bucket.org that you were on where this exact thing that you copied was at. You click get craft bucket recommended built. And it should be under here and you got to make sure that it is this version which is Minecraft 1.2.5. You save and you click save as. And then you save it as the folder that you just made. This folder is going to be tutorial server in this case there's nothing inside it because there's no jars you save and there you go this next step is simple all you have to do is run it and all of these files should show up since i already had that port you will see right over here and this there's a whole bunch of plugins just ignore all of this you should see something just like this and then you should find a properties folder after all of these files generate. You go under the properties folder and you can name the level whatever you want. In this name I just have whatever and you could do all of these settings to whatever you'd like. This is just that and you do not have to put in the server IP. I recommend not unless you buy a DNS like on noip.org or something like that. After you do that, then you could just run off the server and it should work. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Leave a comment if you want any more video tutorials. Goodbye.